Normally I review fitness products, but not today. Today I'm doing my little part to help save the planet. So check it out. Hey, it's Kurt. Welcome to my channel where I review fitness products, except for today, do a cost analysis on them, and then give them my own rating from my own rating system to help you decide whether they are worth purchasing or not. I buy all my products with my own money, and I'm not sponsored by anyone. Unless, of course, the products are given to me for free by the manufacturer, and if that's the case, I will always let you know at the beginning of the video. Are you guys in the same situation as I am? I'm in a state where they are requiring that you put compostables or food scraps in a separate trash bin so they don't end up in landfills. Now, if you're in a state that does not require this, are you just a person who wants to do your little part in helping to save the environment? Either way, I might have a good idea for you. The other day I was delivered this, this little green pail. Look familiar? I'm supposed to fill this with food scraps and all I can imagine is me putting food scraps in here, it getting smelly, it attracting ants and other creatures, then dumping it in my green bin and just having my garbage stink and smell. And that might even attract more funny little creatures. And I thought, how do I make this go away? How do I make it as easy as possible and with no odors? Because I'm always looking for efficient ways to solve problems, or as I like to call them, challenges. At first, I didn't know what to do because I like to help save the environment. I want to remain as carbon neutral as I possibly can. The first thing that came to my mind was, hey, I'm going to check out composters and see how much they cost. So I went on Amazon and I saw a whole bunch of different kind of composters. A lot of them were manual composters. They sat outside in your backyard. Then I looked through electronic composters and there were so many of those as well that I didn't know what to choose. And then randomly I was watching a YouTube video and guess what came up? The Lomi composter by a company called Pila. So who is Pila and what is this thing called the Lomi that they made? Well, Pila is a company made up of engineers and material scientists who are trying to solve the world's garbage problem. And that's why they created the Lomi. Now, what does Lomi mean? Lomi means to rub or squeeze or press with the fingers. And I'm only guessing they named it that because that's exactly what it does with anything you dump inside of it. Now, not anything you dump inside of it, but essentially that's what it does, compress things. Now, why did I want one? I realized there was a lot of waste every single time I cooked. I'd get these scraps of food when I cooked eggs in the morning or if I cooked chicken and I was cutting up vegetables and instead of throwing them into the garbage where they got smelly in my kitchen, I wanted to throw them somewhere else where they would remain odorless and I could get rid of them properly. I also realized this through the years, I was putting more and more stuff in my recycle bin and less and less stuff in my actual garbage. I was basically just putting food in there and it just got stinky and smelly and I actually didn't know where that food went. Well, after doing some research, I found out that that smelly food that you put in the garbage would go to landfills, which created methane gas, which basically causes climate change. And I don't want to be the one responsible for climate change. So that's the main reason I decided to get the Lomi. Supposedly, the Lomi gets rid of all of these things. It composts food remains, packaging from online items, which I haven't tried yet, and even biodegradable plastics. In just three to five hours, Lomi can turn all of this stuff into nutrient-dense compost that you can use in your garden, your flower bed, or just throw in your trash bin. And it's all odorless. In fact, it just smells like dirt to me. But does the Lomi actually do all of that? Well, let's look into Pila as a company first. Pila is most famous for creating the world's first compostable phone case. Over the last three years, they've done over 1,000 compost tests to create the Lomi, and they have created what they believe to be the world's best composter. Who started Pila? Well, Pila was created by a guy named Jeremy Lang, who was a material scientist. And one summer while vacationing in Hawaii, his family went down to the beaches and he noticed tons and tons of plastic washed ashore. And this started him thinking, wow, why is plastic showing up on the shore? What can I do to help? And he thought to himself, 
Well, everybody's got a cell phone, so if I can create a compostable cell phone case, because people usually only keep their cases for about 18 months, this will help a lot of this. So that's why the company started with phone cases first. While working his full-time job, he was lucky enough to team up with e-commerce wizard Matt Bertulli, and together they raised seed money to start Pila as a company, and he devoted himself full-time to Pila. One of their big missions is to try to stop one billion pounds of plastics from ever being created in this world. I wanted to walk you through the Lomi and how I use it every day so you can see if this is something you guys might think about getting. Here's my normal routine. After breakfast, I usually dump any kind of food scraps I have into the Lomi. So I just put it right inside here and close it up. And I don't run it until it's filled up to a certain level. I do the same for lunch and then dinner, and in a few days, it's filled up to where I need to be to start running it. Here's the inside pail of this thing, so you can see what I put in here. It's kind of gross, so I just want to warn you in advance. It comes with a little pail, and you'll see there's eggshells and some squash and pepper and coffee grounds. I actually put the entire filter of coffee in there with the coffee, and it grinds it up, but that's up to the level right now that I need it to be to start running it. You don't want to put any more than that in it because I guess it'll cause problems. But it doesn't smell. I've had this here for four or five days just waiting to make this video. So I grab one of these Lomi pods and just drop it in and pour about 1.7 ounce of water in it. Put it on all the yummy, yucky food in there. Then I pour the water right on top of the little Lomi pod supposed to bubble up a little bit, but I haven't seen it do that yet. It's not small, and I did have to kind of make room for it a little bit when I got it, but I don't plug it in here. I just kind of leave it here till it's full. Then I pick it up, and it weighs about, I don't know, 30 pounds, and I walk it off somewhere else to plug in. There are three modes. There's Grow, there's Eco Express, and Lomi Approved. It automatically defaults to the Eco Express mode, and that's one I use all the time. Just so you know the difference, Eco Express mode is for food waste and is the best mode for those wanting the fastest results with the lowest energy consumption. Lomi approved mode is for bioplastics, compostable commercial goods, and packaging that are Lomi approved. Grow mode is for food waste and runs at low heat to preserve microorganisms and bacteria most helpful to soil. As the Lomi runs through the different cycles, these little lights light up so you know what, exactly what's happening. It's pretty simple and when you first start you think, wow, is it actually going to make this stuff into dirt? Because I almost didn't believe it until I used it for the first time. And what exactly can I put in my Lomi? Well, there is a list of do's and don'ts. And I suggest you check this out if you do decide to get one of these things. So let's go plug this thing in so you can see how easy it is to run. Harden the mess here. If any of you guys are homeowners out there, you'll understand whenever you do a project these days, things take about four times as long as you thought they were gonna take. Plug it in. Hear that little beep? That means it's defaulting to eco mode and it's ready to go. Quick side note, there is a little bit of an odor that comes from this when it is in motion. It's not unpleasant though. It kind of smells a little bit like dirt, but not enough to bother me. Here we are the next day when I turned this on yesterday, I left my house and when I came back, I totally forgot about it, but it was done in five hours. Now it's been a whole day actually. You don't have to wait this long, I just forgot. So let's open it up and see what we have. Some nice dirt. I can't compare the smell to anything. It sounds weird, but it kind of smells like clean dirt. But yeah, it's, it's very dry in your hands, as you can see. I just dumped this out in my green trash bin, and you can see there's some remnants there. So I get this paper towel and just clean up around here. You can see the gears of this little pail in here. These are the ones that grind up the stuff. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of the Lomi. First, the pros. Pila, which is the company that makes Lomi, is a certified B Corp, and it feels like I'm doing my small part to help save the environment every time I use it. It can reduce your waste footprint up to 50%, 
It's simple to clean, just wipe the insides with a paper towel. Does not smell. Now the cons. It's not cheap and it's hard to find space for if you don't have much shelf space in your kitchen. I have to run it two times a week because it's just me, but I imagine a family of four might have to run it at least once a day. They only offer a two week home trial with a full refund. There is a bit of a waiting list to get one. It took almost two months to get mine, but I don't think the wait is as long now. Finally, let's get to the three P's, my rating system that's made up of price, performance, and staying power. First, the price. What is the cost of this product? Is it worth the money? The total cost of a Lomi is $499. First, you have to reserve one for $49. Then you pay the additional $450 when the Lomi is shipped. They also offer a membership, which I joined, where they send you Lomi pods and charcoal filters every three months for $39. That's an additional $160 a year, so there are ongoing costs. For price, I'll give it a five. Next is performance. How did the Lomi perform? It was super easy to use. I haven't had a problem with it, although I have only had it for a month, and I love being able to put all my food scraps in it without any odor. That is a big deal. Way better than that green pail. So for performance, I'll give it a nine. Finally, staying power. Is this a one and done product never to be used again? Or will I continue to use this product over time? I plan on keeping this product for a very long time, but I will do a follow-up review in about six months so you can see what I'm feeling about it then. So for staying power, I'm gonna give the Lomi a nine. So what's the final tally? Price, five. Performance, nine. Staying power, nine. That comes to a final average score of 7.7 .7 out of 10. Okay, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. Of course, subscribe if you want to and hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified of all my videos when they come out. They come out every Tuesday and Saturday, by the way. And of course, if you guys want me to review products, please put some comments in the comment section down below. That's how I actually come up with a lot of these videos. Finally, you can hit me up on Instagram at KurtFitFi, where I post at least two times a week on other things fitness. I'll see you on the next one.